Does not exist in this dojo. Contendersclothing.com. Use Kid Poker 20. Save 20% off. Dang, it's early for a poker tournament. 10 10 a.m. Ooh. Oh, 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 boy. Watched uh, AGT last night with the woman. Got the roadie coffee right here. Poker royalty, if you don't know what that is. If people always have inquiries for me. You know, you know I want to do this business with me. When I got in this a thing. Of a mile. Exit to Summerlin Parkway East. Will do. Uh, yeah, I got this thing. I got these cards. I want to put people's faces on them. And I want to make them into like a big poker tournament. And I want you to pay for everything. And you get 20%. And so instead of me having to listen to some, like all these pitches, Brian and Poker Royalty and the team, they take them all in. Both good, bad, and the ugly. Both. Both good, Exit bad, right and the to ugly. Summerlin Parkway both. East. That <laughs> reminds me of two things. I have a roadie coffee here. Two, 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 one, two funny ones. Uh, what was it? It was Sopranos or something. The guy was asked the question. He's like, what are you in? Waste management, concrete, or uh, construction? The guy goes, a little bit of bolt. <laughs> I like it. Anyways, y'all. Um, early start because you can't late register. I mean, you can, but you get blinded off. We ain't going to do that with your money. Uh, $1,500 uh, Nolan and Holden shootout. I really love these events. You get a chance to kind of soak in. Get, pick up some reads on your players. Miles. Especially if you're like to the left, the 10 handed. Right, would you stop? Las I know how to get there. This freaking Waze woman was telling me. Waze will tell you where cops are if you don't use it. So it's kind of important because sometimes we go over to live in a little bit. Just, just a little bit. What the hell was I saying before? This is what happens when I'm hyped up on coffee early in the morning. Boo! Brains all over the place. Ziggity zaggity. Oh yeah. Fifteen hundred dollars. I like it because the shootout because you get to you get reads on people and you know you get to take advantage of them at the most important times when you're three handed or heads up, right? So, uh, it's kind of fun. I don't know. I like it. I think it's a really cool format. I wish there were more of them. The problem with them is they're a little logistically difficult to pull off. You have to really be good at guessing how many players are in the field, right? Uh, because of late reg and all that kind of stuff. So, people do late reg. They just ante off, which, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's fine, but I wouldn't do it. Nope. We're showing up right on time. Bright and early. 11 a.m. Day whatever. World Series of Poker Vlogs coming at you. All right, here we go. Eddie, open the door for the people. Be nice, be kind, be a good boy. <laughs> Eddie, playing the same event. Let's go, we at the same table, son? 113, what are you? 113. That would be weird. No, I'm good, I'm Brazilian. Almost good sold. luck today, son. Thanks, you too. Go get them. They're already sold out. What? The shootout's almost well, sold out. Really? They said like 28 players. They left. might add tables, we'll yeah. see. What's this barrier? All right, here we go, 1500 shootout. We'll see how, uh, we should do a bet. Yeah, let's Who wins? I, I bet like 100K? Yeah, 100K. <laughs> Deal. This gentleman right out here, check this out. He's got the Mario Brothers shirt. Super cool, but no, 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 it's not done. Bam! He got the joystick up top. That's pretty sick, man. Where'd you find that? Walmart. Whoa, Walmart. <laughs> there you go. myself at the mirror and question things that I once accepted now I don't see it the same at all I guess I'm sorry for how okay, I so late red is still open in this thing we've started with eight players we've lost one already still potential for two more to join us uh, for a table of ten they set up a hundred tables in this thing with a maximum ten handed but um, those that show up late their their stacks are being anted out inside the tray so it's not like you show up late and get a full stack well alrighty then looky looky at this gentleman late regging not to recognize anyone on my table. Well, I was too, and I didn't until just now. <laughs> right. Let's go. You, man, when you just don't give a fuck. I can't blame you for acting the way you acting now. I guess I'm sorry that you hate me with a passion now. I hope that maybe someday we'll be going to stay. But yet I understand. Okay, so far so good. First break. We got about 900 players. They set up for a thousand, so it's still possible we get a tenth player. Unlikely. Uh, looks like it'll be nine. We lost one, so there's. Uh, what is that? We got eight, right? Yeah, eight-handed, and yours truly has forty-seven thousand five hundred from twenty-five k, which puts me in 
the chip lead for now, and I want to go over a hand breakdown against Alex Foxen. If you don't know who that guy is, he's been crushing it, uh, top of the GPI, you know, winning pretty much all the stuff. So uh, here's the hand, okay? Got it on my trusty phone. I take notes. See? I'll just show you how I do it. E Where, where's my camera? Such a dummy. Camera's on the wrong side. Hey, it's in here somewhere. There you go. So the hand is 100, 200 blinds with a $200 big blind ante. I'm in middle position with two black nines, and I open to 500. Pretty standard. Foxen is in the cutoff, and he makes it 1500, which is kind of a small raise. Um, I don't see a lot of reason to four bet here, so I flat and we take uh, we take the flop heads up, and the flop is king six four with two spades. Okay, uh, so I decide to check, of course, and he down bets to twelve hundred, which is uh, if you've studied some solver work or whatever, quarter pot size bets or smaller bets like that are pretty good. I mean, they're basically the standard line, so um, nothing you can really exploit there. Not not if he's balanced. So I call. I mean, I'm not going to just fold nines. It's, you know, it's kind of silly. Uh, I do have a spade, which, I don't know, give me backdoor spade, spade, or whatever. And, and very often, I'm going to have the best hand against an aggressive three-better, like Alex Foxen. The turn card is a nine of hearts. Hey, nice for me. I check, hoping that he bets. And I think that a lot of time he has nothing he's going to bet um, to try to push the hand through. I mean, not always, but sometimes. He checks back. Now the river's a four pairs the bottom card and there's 59 hard in the pot and I decide okay well well what are, what are my options here make a small bet hope he pounces check hope he bluffs bet something modest so he you know may pay off light or 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 because there's two spades and a straight straighty fleshy board kind of thing why not use this opportunity to represent misdraws and the hand that I have so I go big time 7500 uh, over bet the pot and he had a king a pretty good king he said so he made the call and uh, we were able to win that pot and put him on the short stack which is exactly where we want him well we really want him in the next event away from our table you know I was doing fine being El Capitano uh, but Alex Fox and you know you can move along to the next one we don't need you at my table You're too I do good. love you and still see you in dreams and stuff and off the question if you love me are you dreamt enough I don't speak cause it's not a way I can really do it I guess I'm saying that I'm happy but I'm going through it's just me and myself now These empty dogs, girl, I can't get them out I'm not the same because you ain't around, baby You pick me up, so I'ma hold it down, baby It's just me and myself now These empty dogs, girl, I can't get them out I'm not the same because you ain't around, baby You pick me up, so I'ma hold it down, baby Lie to me, talk to me, speak to me, like it was cool, it was good, nothing happened like We don't know what just happened, that was our mistake We were young, we were dumb, but it wasn't fake They don't know how I feel, they don't see how it go They don't ever relate, they just watching the show Wanna ask you what's up, cause it still went down But it's crazy that we grew to be enemies now Guess I wrote you this to let you know that I still care In the end, well if you need something Alrighty, end of level 6, look at that, that's Christian He's the guy that's Tell doing, people. he loves being on camera Tell him how much you love it so much. Favorite, so much. So much. He's the one who comes up with all the cool music. So if you hate the music, blame him. If you love the music, let him know what's up. Uh, he's also the one who does. Someone asked what you do. And I was like, you're kind of a versatile all around athlete. He uh, helps with the vlogs. He's my golf coach. He's my co you name it. I mean, he does it. If I need something that can count on a guy, it's this one right here. And level six, we are uh, doing good. 48 7. Dipped a little bit uh, those three rounds. We came back up. There's only five of us left as Alex Foxen just busted. So a uh, good opportunity here. I love these shootouts. You win your table, you're down to 100 people, boom. And then you win that one, boom. You're at the final table, you win that one, boom. They give you a gold bracelet. And then you move on to the next piece of life here, restrain you good. All in all, it's all love, just the way that they should. It's just me and myself, it's just me and myself. These empty dogs, girl, I can't get them out. I'm not the same because you ain't around. See those two are in a pot right now. I have about half the chips in play, or pretty close, three-handed, but it's very, very deep. We all got big stacks because it happened pretty quickly. Okay, we are heads up now against this fine gentleman, Ohio State Buckeye fan. Oh H. All right. Oh Go H. Yeah, gotcha. All right. So we're about even. I got a little edge, I think, uh, in terms of chips. So this could be a long one. 
long battle. Oh boy, a little bit of a frustrating turn of events here, man. We're gonna do a hand breakdown, okay? Uh, control and play pretty well heads up. You know, got the lead, pretty good lead, got him down. Um, hand comes up where I open the button with king nine. The blinds are 500, 1,000, 1,000, big blind ante. I make it 3,000 on the button, he calls. Flop is king seven, six with two hearts. He checks, I bet 3,000 again. He makes it 16,000. Feels very draw heavy to me. I move in for his 66,000 that he's got. He calls, he's got the eight, four hearts. So we're in good shape, we just have to fade a five or a heart. Heart on the turn, lost that one. Um, then just right before the break here, had seven, eight on the button with the eight of diamonds. This one you don't have to do a breakdown for. The flop was six, seven, nine, two diamonds. He's got nine, four, right? He checks, I bet, he calls. Turns the ace of diamonds, so I got the flush drawn out too. So I need a five, seven, eight, ten diamond. And we get uh, brick on the river. But listen, we got like 70,000, which means he's got about 150, two to one dog right now. The, they gave us an option of taking the full one hour dinner break, which is scheduled for right now, which seems nuts or come back in 15 minutes. The gentleman was cordial enough to say, okay. So quick uh, snack in the trailer and be right back to work. I don't even know how to describe it. This has been such a ridiculous battle. Like I feel like I, <laughs> I don't even want to say, I don't, oh my God, I can't believe what's happening right now. Can't believe it. So this battle has been going back and forth um, once again. You know, this time he, I had a set of jacks on the turn and he had a uh, flush draw, hit the flush on the river for a big one, made another flush in a spot where I had aces with a flush draw. He, you know, he already flopped the flush. Just now I got him uh, down to 85K. I climb my way back once again, get him down to 85K, open with kings. He calls, comes jack nine, six rainbow. He bets flop, I raise, we get it in and he has jack nine, we miss. So once again, another opportunity. We did double up a couple times because we had to, it was insane. I had ace eight against king jack. You know, we won that one. And uh, ace queen against ace deuce. So I won two flips to stay alive. Now we're back to about 40, 50,000. This has been like wanting to break a wall. Frustrating. <laughs> My God, what a grind. For a $1,500 shootout, first of all, there should not be this much play. Oh, I almost had him out before dinner break and we've played four hours since. Whew, or four, I don't, two, I don't know, a lot. We've been playing, we've played a long ass time. This was a stress, stressful, stressful. We got it in with ace, queen against king 10, drawn dead by the turn. Congratulations, take my money and put it to good use and win the whole damn thing. I need a drink. What, do you have cyanide or uh, like a triple? I'm so stressed right now. What do you have? Do you have like rubbing alcohol? What do you got? Are you gonna drink it? I, whatever, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go off right now. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a solid nap in. It is now 10 p.m. Uh, level seven has begun in the Omaha Eight or Better event. We are gonna go head in right now. Uh, not gonna lie, man, you, you heads up poker is the most exhausting form of poker. Luckily, I was playing against a guy who was really awesome to play against and he wasn't like really, really slow. I really think that there might come a time where unless like there's something addressed about the, the, the speed of play in some spots, like where they have to legalize like mild slapping in the face, just like nothing that breaks the person's skin, but like a wake them up slap, like you're just annoying. I know like another guy was, my friend was at the table next and there's two people at his table just taking time and I'm like, choke them. I, like I'm in my mind, I'm like, I would want to choke them. <laughs> it's about that time in the World Series of Poker. Talking about choking people. Hmm. It's only been a week. All right. So we're, you know, we got that out of our mind. Really crushing blow to lose heads up in the, uh, it's like the worst possible spot to finish, obviously, in a shootout. So now we got to focus in, play an awesome tournament. The 10K Omaha Eater Better. I feel really, 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 what the hell am I doing with my glass? Really, really, really good about my Omaha 8 game. So uh, let's get in there and make some wheels. Yet still, I run into this gentleman over here. <laughs> it's crazy. This is our table for the day. Okay, so not a great start to the Omaha 8. Um, played an hour and a half. You start with 60K in chips. We've got 16.8. 
Uh, the good news is it's Omaha 8. And with Omaha 8, all you need to do is have a chip in a chair. I mean, that's a cliche and a saying, but Omaha 8 and Stud 8 are two of the best games to be short in because to stay alive, you just need to get some part of the pot, right? So as long as you're playing a lot of good two-way hands in, in Omaha, there's you know a good chance that you can do that. So had aces beat a few times. The structures also for the uh, 10Ks, it's odd because it's almost like the 1500s have more play. They have way too much play. The 10Ks are great as they are. I think they're fantastic. Uh, I think the 15s are just too slow. And that's not elitist talk. It's just uh, just true, okay? <laughs> it's chillax. So take a little break here in the trailer and then we head back um, and we gotta run it up. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, again, I have three big bets. We're playing three and six K for the next two hours. And I still feel pretty confident that we're gonna turn this ship around here in this tournament. If you guys don't have- Hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. You're, just, you're playing- Stop now. doing that. <laughs> Dude, do you want to have copyright? Put my <laughs> straight in. You gotta do something. Come He's on. He's funny, I don't know. He's yeah. You, a lot of people are gonna Looking. see this. Looking. <laughs> no, sure. No, stop it. <laughs> All right, just for the record, you know, he was going to stop, stop, but I got permission to post, right? It yeah, was, we're good. It there, was, there was, no, we're good. We're clean. Yeah, post. You're not posting this. No. This is just for... You want me to post? No, I'm going to post this to let them know. This is backup. This is the if backup to let backup them know. you need backup if I can plan. This is part of the thing, too. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Hold on. Okay. Put your gonna, hand. I'm gonna, let me play this thing. <laughs> All right, we grinded that short stack for a long time. Uh, was down to less than a bet, got back up to two to three, and then finally on the last hand, was in the big blind, was the ace three six nine. Alex Fox and Ray, small blind called, I of course defend, and it came ace five six. So I have aces and sixes with a live three draw. I bet um, Alex raises, and I'm all in now. So I, he has ace five, do seven. So he has aces and fives. You know, okay shape, you know, pretty good shape against that hand. He can only Beat me for high if he catches a five or a seven. No, and, and then a, yeah, a seven. So turn was a five and then uh, river we bricked out. So done for the night, um, feeling really good. I know it may not sound like it should after today, but because it was really stressful and early and crazy early, but uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's potentially like, like a kind of a day off, not a real day off, but a kind of a day off. Because what we've looked at in the schedule is doesn't make sense for me to play the Millie Maker because if you play the Millie Maker on day one, flight one, then you make it through the day, you have to skip day two, which is a deuce to seven, 10K. And I'm good at that game, had good results, we cashed in the other one, so I don't wanna skip that. So the plan for tomorrow then is to go to the gym, maybe chill by the pool, hang with Amanda, have a little fun at the house for a while. And the stud starts at three o'clock, but uh, we're probably gonna just kind of like register in level five so i mean those structures the 1500s are crazy long so that's plenty of play plenty of chips so you know anytime you have a chance to have a little rest time you want to you want to do that um and tomorrow's a perfect day for it also want to get in the gym i just i've been craving it i've been craving like lifting some weights you know maybe maybe do a little cardio too even though not the most fun thing in the world but on that note y'all another day in the books long journey ahead just you know it's like 60 70 tournaments left um we got our three caches probably puts us right around the top 50 or 60 for player of the year which is striking distance just gonna knock a few of these off down the stretch and we're good to go i'm not sandy because you ain't around baby you pick me up so i'm a holy I know you thinking it, know you checking on me, know you asking yourself, I know you wondering, know you thinking it, know you checking on me, know you asking yourself, why did it happen this way, why did everything change, why do I care about you, why don't these feelings go fade, why did it happen this way, why did everything change, why do I care about you, why won't it go away, it's just me and myself now, these empty dogs girl I can't get them out.